Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you can hear my voice clearly. So today we are going to talk about the tools what we are going to have, uh, which are very important for our trading. Uh, and it's important because you need to be very quick in the market and you should have the optimum screen available for you to quickly glance at whatever trades you're going to take and how quickly you can make decisions to get onto a trade and get out. So for that, you need to use proper tools. And uh, according to me, Trade Tiger has been there for a lot many years. One of the oldest brokers, you can say, who provides full service. And uh, they, this one tool will help you to trade, to look at the charts, tick by tick data is available. You can download the reports. You can also keep a watch on IPOs and everything. You can also learn from this particular tool so this is a complete complete comprehensive tool which you can use so uh, without wasting much of your time i will get and take you through the multiple features what they have so uh, there are many features on this like themes basic basic themes you can select whichever whichever theme you want to select uh, for as per your preference color preference so i prefer to have a black theme So now we have, uh, as you can see, I have one market watch and multiple charts. Uh, and if you want to have a market watch like this and multiple time frame charts, you can definitely do that. So we will start from scratch. We will start building it from the basic chart layout. And from there, I'll show you how to you can uh, save your complete layout. So let's get started. I will delete all of this. Okay, and then we will make a basic chart setting first okay so what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to take it will take some time for me to actually take you through all these tools but uh, if you have trade tiger i would prefer you go through all of this and one more feature which i forgot to mention is that this is also a live scanner you can create your tick query here and you know scan the stocks as per your conditions so this is a very beautiful tool you can have your conditions predefined here you know settings for action to watch what kind of uh, you know you can choose the values here and you know you can choose the stocks which are at the high of the day at the low of the day and uh, there, there are many other features available but today market is close so i'm not able to uh, open most of it you see you can see here price gainer by x percentage you can you know put all those things and make a screener for yourself and the results will appear here they also have predefined scans uh, let me show it to you this is their research section you have calls call watch what are the things you need to see they also provide a uh, kind of tips here which you can watch <clears throat> they have this predefined scans here my scans predefined scans you can always create a new scanner here and then you know, run your scanning here you can actually code your own <clears throat> scanning here like put a condition and then select whatever is the value you are wanting to <clears throat> get greater than less than last transaction price greater than uh, say 5 moving average like this you can create whatever conditions you want so that flexibility is also there okay but it will it may not be in the range of a full fledged scanner which is available in the market <clears throat> but this is also pretty decent you don't need a full fledged scanner to make money so let's get started with the first basic market watch so what we do is we take a blank market watch we click on this blank market watch open as local open as global uh, view on desktop machine only five market watch can be saved with 50 scripts each so we say open as local okay so now we have got a blank market watch 
what we are going to do is right click add script I will add a bank nifty near future futures show select this add bank nifty is added now I will show uh, nifty also we'll add nifty so nifty has come you click say new year future and you add nifty also so these two charts are available now I want to open these two charts so when I double click on this I'll get this chart and if you notice my chart is already coming in a predefined layout and how is that happening I will show it to you okay so let's go to this chart I want to remove everything from this chart remove all tools and I will remove all studies okay so remove all the studies I will show you one by one how to add it Okay, so now we have removed this is a plain chart and uh, there are different cons uh, themes which are available what I'll do is I'll right click on this I will take you to settings here you have general settings so I have given a top 4 margin bottom 3 margin background color is black foreground color is white chart type is candle show data window show volume panel show bid ask panel default template is what I have created and saved I'll show you how to create that and save it here so then also look at all these previous close and high let it all be there select all I will show you how to disable and enable here you can see my previous day start line is here so how did I get it I just have to once you have all those things enabled you will have uh, all these options available here so what I'll do now is I will first select on show volume plus volume plus will show me at the bottom of this chart so this is fine for me and I will try to pull this down a little bit so I need bigger space of this chart so now my chart is 3 minute chart and this is a 90 day 3 minute chart you can always have a custom time frame here if you want two minutes you can just type two here and click ok so now we have candlestick stars or prior previous close is here tick average here so how do we get that now what I'll do is uh, you know, I'll show you the settings here so you have previous close line this is show label show value this is enabled high is also enabled low is also enabled tick average is nothing but your ATP line so you have to enable all of it now when you click on show you have this previous close line show I can disable it from here also you have data window you have market depth uh, you can also say market depth will be visible here you can always put it on the right if you want it like this okay but right now I'm not putting it okay now next going to the studies part study is nothing but your indicator you select add study so if you're somebody who's using super trend like me you select super trend change the settings to 2 okay and input if you want to change the line colors you can change it here and say apply here now super trend is added now you are somebody who's using moving average you can select average give a simple 20 period moving average if you want to change the color here which is confusing for you you can choose blue okay you can choose white okay since we have a black background so this becomes like this so we have two moving averages now you need pivot points you can always go to study and study click on P pivot points we have multiple pivot points daily weekly monthly quarterly half yearly so we select daily pivot point and without changing anything you can always customize these colors that's not a problem so now my template is ready here guys so this is a good template for me 
and this is an intraday chart template so what i do is right click chart save chart template so i will save it as a favorite intra so i have saved this template in intraday okay and now if you want to save this as a 15 minute time frame also okay you save this as you change the time frame save chart template and save it as 15 minute favorite i'll show you how to use it okay so this is saved now if you want the same thing to be there on a daily chart so we will make it as daily and save chart type as daily favorite okay so this is also saved right so now what do we do we are going to do this okay so now i want to open up so what i do is now i open up this when i click double click so i will open up one chart and if you click another uh, script again the same chart changes so to solve that problem you have to select control and click on this so you have two charts here so i'll place one chart here it is too small so i'll put another chart here okay so now i have two charts here okay with the same layout and what i can do is i can go to charts uh, settings in this setting i have this default template right which i've shown so you can go to intraday chart you can say your favorite is favorite intra and you put it as your template and you save it so what happens is whenever you click or add any new chart it opens up in the same template right so now uh, you have two charts and you want that to change according to the uh, time frame like for example if you have uh, uh, multiple market watches like if you want to see uh, there is a market watch which is already predefined say nifty okay so i'll get a nifty market watch so here if i am clicking on adani so both this will change to adani ports three minute time frame but i want this to be adani port 15 minute time frame okay so what i'll do is i will right click i will say load chart template i will say 15 minute time frame Okay, so this is 15 minute for me so what i'll do now is i will save this particular template let me also show you how do you link so now this chart linking is happening as per the script it is not as per the period period means if you have three minute time frame if you select this period and if you want uh, multiple indices with same time frame you can check now you can have multiple uh, layer so this is a 15 minute time frame i you can also add a daily time frame if you want so i'll put up one more chart which is uh, this is adani ports so I'll click, double click adani ports has come here so we'll add one more chart here this is a 15 minutes so i'll add it below this okay so this will be your let's load the daily template which we have created so we will go to graph daily chart and daily favorite okay so this is your daily template so now all these charts are linked via script even this is linked via script okay so this is also linked via script right so what will happen is if i go to asian paints now you see all the three charts will change to Asian paints. And one is 15 minutes, one is daily, another is 3 minutes. 
you go to Bharati Airtel, all these three will change according to the time frame. So this way you can easily scout for stocks and see what's happening at a broader time frame plus at an intraday level. Okay, so now you have got this template created. What you need to do is to save this. Whenever you open your Trade Tiger terminal, you want this to appear. So what you do is you go to home and you say save and you give this as save layout favorite 3 done so you have saved your label layout and whenever you open trade tiger you will be able to see your favorite 3 and when you click on load it automatically loads the template like this so isn't it simple guys so you're making your life very simple by doing this so that uh, you can have your multiple stocks uh, can be easily quickly you can look at pivot levels you can look at what is happening and uh, there is no limit for layouts like this you can have a layout like this for stocks you can have a layout like this for uh, index options you also have layouts for options so you can predefine all your layouts like this and use it comfortably and there is a lot of scope for you to improve and you know customize this uh, you know settings you can always shift this if you want to put it here if you want to put it here there are multiple options available here 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 like this so this is a very flexible tool guys and uh, it, this gives you like immense uh, opportunity to customize and uh, use it according to your uh, preference so any change in script you can just change it here make it nifty it gets added instantly like this so go through this terminal guys and this is uh, not a costly tool i'm telling you if you are actually uh, take this trading membership from this uh, trade tiger and then use the chart if even if you don't want to trade it's okay but they will give you this software installed and use this for your uh, complete analysis and tools and instead of going for uh, uh, much expensive software you can use this and this is a full broker data wise tick wise data is always accurate on this and uh, this is this and trading view gives you perfect tick by tick data so always try to uh, use this kind of a broker rather than going for any other discounted brokers are good but that is only for placing orders and uh, your chart reading always has to be on a trustworthy partner like this okay guys so that's it for this week i don't want to make this video longer i hope you are learning from my videos and this is a very uh, tool specific video and the tools are very important without tools you cannot cannot survive in this market and you have to be a step ahead because this market is designed in such a way that you will be on the losing side most of the time so you have to ensure that you have the right kind of tools and right timing and uh, right kind of mindset and risk management to survive in this market otherwise people enter into stock market and six months they are out of the market because they can't understand so if you are planning to be a full-time trader if you have bigger aspirations then you should definitely focus on this kind of tools thank you so much for watching and have a great day